Well, I'm delighted to be joined by the three nominees here today. I'm going to start with Leo. Leo, marcaste tu gol número 600. De hacer las cosas para, para ganar, sobre todo, más que, que marcar. Y bueno, si se puede marcar, me I love you, Leo. Uh, I won three titles, the Super Cup, uh, Serie A, and Nationals Cup against Holland, which is, is fantastic. <laughs> nice to see Virgil yes, again. Yes, I have to say Holland. <laughs> and it was good. Um, and Virgil, you're like the, uh, the new kid with these two. How does that feel? Feels all right. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm very proud to be here. Um, Obviously Cristiano, you are still the top scorer in the history of this competition. That has not gone away. You've had a great year. To be part of history of football, I'm there, and yeah, of course he's there as well. ¿Te extraña o no? Es, es la pregunta. <laughs> ¿Para él o para mí? No, tú a él. Ah, quieres los dos, sí. ok. El que conteste primero. The way for President Alexander Sheferin. Welcome back, President. If you could please do the honors and reveal... The UEFA Men's Player of the Year is... Virgil van Dijk. Leo. Virgil, congratulations. What comes Leo. through your mind? You. From being a kid to a young player to breaking Leo. into the first teams and now winning the Champions League and this trophy. Yeah, well, first of all, I think I need to thank all my teammates. Yeah, that's right. From Pedro and myself and everybody here in Monaco, it's been a real pleasure to have your company. Thank you for joining us and good night.